Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. The United States did what seemed impossible, and some people still can't get their heads around the decision that the U.S. authorities made a decade ago, handing over an extremely versatile and technologically advanced aircraft to another country. Yes, you heard that right. The U.S. delivered 17 V-22 Ospreys to Japan in exchange for $3 billion. The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey is an American aircraft with both vertical takeoff and landing and short takeoff and landing capabilities. The V-22 is designed to function as a helicopter with long range, as well as to provide high-speed cruise performance of a turboprop aircraft. Ospreys were the key to the U.S. Marine Corps' position in the Pacific, mainly due to the ability to fly further and faster than helicopters and still land on various ships. Therefore, selling such a valuable asset to Japan was a bold decision. However, the deal between the U.S. and Japan was not just financial. It was also a strong start to an extraordinary U.S.-Japan military relationship. It was the first time Japan had acquired offensive military capabilities since the end of World War II, mainly due to unrest with China over territorial disputes in the East China Sea. The United States and Japan have collaborated and assisted each other on multiple occasions. In April 2016, several locations in Japan were struck by intense earthquakes, which resulted in infrastructure damage, injuries, and several deaths. Japanese self-defense forces worked day and night to save lives and restore infrastructure. Moreover, V-22 Ospreys were loaded with supplies and flew from the Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni to provide humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. When it comes to taking off, the V-22 Osprey is nothing short of a flying marble. It typically operates as a helicopter, with the nacelles vertical and rotors horizontal. However, once it's airborne, the nacelles rotate 90 degrees forward in less than 12 seconds for horizontal flight, converting the V-22 into a high-speed turboprop aircraft. On the other hand, it can also perform short takeoff and landing, achieved by having the nacelles tilted 45 degrees forward. Despite its complexity, the V-22 Osprey is very efficient as it can carry up to 20,000 pounds of internal cargo, along with 15,000 pounds of external cargo.
This quality allows the V-22 to perform replenishment missions like dropping cargo directly above the submarine, which is later collected by the Marines inside the submarine. This way, the V-22 Osprey increases the survivability, range, and lethality of forward-deployed Navy vessels. Additionally, the V-22 can carry up to 24 fully equipped combat troops. It's equipped with 24 foldable seats in the cabin, where the entire crew can sit easily. After reaching their destination, the soldiers rapidly exit the aircraft by using the rear ramp for easier and faster operations. Militaries worldwide own huge and expensive equipment, and moving them from one place to another requires something even bigger. Such was the case when the United States military had to transport two Japanese MH-53s using a C-5 Galaxy, the largest cargo aircraft owned by the U.S. military. As the crew loaded the MH-53s in the cargo compartment, it looked like the C-5 had swallowed the two behemoths. The United States even maintains several permanent bases in Japan and participates in numerous collaborative training drills and exercises. For example, in 2020 during Exercise Iron Fist, both the U.S. and Japanese forces conducted amphibious and land-based contingency operations. One of the most interesting demonstrations was fast roping from a CH-53 East Stallion. The soldiers from both countries wore gloves and descended a thick rope hanging from the helicopter. Fast roping is a valuable technique that allows troops to deploy at places where the helicopter cannot touch down. A unique collaboration between Japanese and U.S. forces occurred to prepare for OS-12, a bilateral exercise to increase combat readiness and interoperability between the two forces. Almost 750 soldiers from the U.S. military and 600 soldiers from the Japanese forces took part in this exercise. Fifteen strikers along with support equipment were deployed at Japan's Yokohama North Dock. The soldiers removed the hooks and chains from the strikers and moved them out of the naval vessels. It should come as no surprise that the two nations often share military technologies. One prime example is when the U.S. and Japanese airmen conducted operations aboard Shinmaiwa U.S. 2 during Exercise Cope Angel in March 2023.
The airmen took off and inflated an inflatable rescue boat aboard the aircraft. Later, the aircraft smoothly landed on the water body and the IRB was deployed on the water. After conducting operations, the IRB was moved back onto the aircraft using ropes. The Shinmaiwa US-2 is ideal for maritime surveillance, which is why, since its introduction, Japan has been the primary user of this aircraft. So far, only eight of these aircraft have been built since its introduction in March 2007. However, this might change soon due to interest shown by the United States and many other nations. This unique amphibious aircraft is specifically designed as a short takeoff and landing plane, which means it can take off and land from virtually anywhere, including runways, landing strips, oceans, and even lakes. The Shinmaiwa US-2 is roughly 110 feet long, with a wingspan of roughly 108 feet. It's capable of carrying up to 20 passengers and boasts a maximum takeoff capacity of roughly 47,000 kilograms. Moreover, its four powerful Rolls-Royce AE2100 engines provide more than 4,500 horsepower, which allows the aircraft to reach speeds as high as 350 miles per hour. Not only this, the Shinmaiwa US-2 can also travel at slow speeds of around 56 miles per hour before stalling, which is extremely important for its primary mission, air-to-sea rescue. These capabilities will surely improve the United States' ability to operate in the Pacific Ocean. Therefore, the United States pilots and navigators have already started working with the Japanese forces to learn how to operate the Shinmaiwa US-2 in the best possible way. The pilots and the navigators were taught how to operate the aircraft by the Japanese operators in a US-2 simulator. The simulator allows the pilots to practice a wide range of scenarios, including normal takeoffs and landings, as well as emergencies like engine failures or adverse weather conditions. On the other hand, the navigators can become familiar with a wide range of navigation systems in the Shinmaiwa US-2 simulator. With ongoing efforts at the U.S. bases in Japan, this alliance will contribute to peace and prosperity in the Asia-Pacific region. It's clear that in years to come, the bond between the U.S. and Japan will remain vital in addressing shared challenges and fostering mutual cooperation. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.